new season. All right, so what I've heard from this is that the battle pass is actually pretty decent and a lot of other stuff is decent, so oh, I'm excited. Actually, where's my Xbox card? Oh, here it is. Oh, here we go. Battle pass. Oh, they changed the battle pass. Gain additional battle pass points for first match you win each day. I like that, especially since like winning your first game of the day, it feels really good. Booster update, 100 bonus points, damn. And 30 more percent battle points, nice. Oh, <laughs> there's Thorn. There's our new operator. And what I believe is behind her, I believe that's the Six Invitational Stadium because I believe this battle pass runs until February 21st and the Six Invitationals is going to be during that, so obviously. You could guess already <laughs> that okay so yeah you can believe the si stuff is in this battle pass look at yo, thorn yo. uh oh ooh, alpha packs look different uh there's the cards <laughs> it's dewey's favorite feature uh oh yeah here it is yeah you see certain stuff like like zafia and other and all of these like other stuff they have the si things in them Ooh, that looks nice there's the lmg damn Hi, how are you? Oh, this is for Ash. Good. I like playing Ash a lot. I love her. <laughs> uh, uniform. Okay, not bad. Looks all right. Uh, card. That's for Osa. Ooh, that looks very good. Uh, Mossy. Oh, I thought that was a 3D weapon skin. There's Thorn. It's just a headband. Oh, there's another one of the cards. Operator portrait. The Uzi skin. <laughs> I forgot we got a new weapon, actually. It's been a long... It feels like it's been a long time since we got a new weapon. Uh, since, like, what? Shadow Legacy? That was, like, September last year. 2020. Uh, Osa. <laughs> oh. I love that pose, actually. Sphinka. Nano Revol... Oh, I like that name. Na Nano Revolution. Oh, they brought back the Mission Blacksmith stuff. I love these skins. Even though... They may not look similar to the ones, like, previously, I think in, like, what, summer 2020. I I'm happy that they're back. They're better than the stupid-ass snakeskin stuff. I hated those things. I love the Mission Blacksmith stuff. Jeez. Seasonal? Oh, seasonal? Is that 50? Oh, damn. Usually, I think last year, the seasonal and the attachment skin, both of them were at, like, tier 100. That's cool. I like how it's at 50 now. It's halfway through the pass. That's not bad looking. That's pretty good. Now, where is the attachment skin? Oh, there it is. 56. Oh, so six tiers in. On tier 50, you get this. And it even covers up the magazine this time. I like that. That's very good. Good job, Ubisoft. <laughs> Beating heart. Oh, damn. Oh, we got a 3D weapon skin. SI 2022 Striker. Damn. Makes it look like a bullpup, kind of. That's nice. I do like the grip design on that. Very nice. Warden. <laughs> That's Mission Blacksmith. It's just his hair. Oh my god. Fucking swag. <laughs> oh yeah, and actually, let me say this now. It was confirmed today that uh, Kavera is now a actual lesbian. Tana. And Camellia, that's her girlfriend back home. Yeah, it says, found this in my bag on my first trip to Ireland. Amariko, you thoughtful little sneak. Camellia is actually Kavera's girlfriend back home in Brazil, as confirmed by one of the devs on Siege on Twitter. Script. Uh, many were disappointed that it wasn't Twitch and Kavera, because it was seized in, like, uh, uh, Ghost Recon Wildlands, because there was a mission there. But I'm fine with this. I'm, I'm actually glad that, you know, we finally have another LGBT operator. <laughs> oh, there's Kavera. Spotless trainer. That's a portrait. And she's even got her own background. Nice. Uh, there's a sniper. Ooh. I really like what they did with these, like, SI-22 skins. Instead of just having, like, those normal, uh, colors, like, orange, blue, like, all that. I mean, it, it is still kind of there. I do like how they kind of made it into, like, their little own design for these, for specific operators. Very nice. We're out to SI-22. That's beautiful. Oh, I can't see it. Oh, well, that's beautiful. I'm guessing, yeah, I'm guessing that's the map we're gonna see in February. Or January, I believe. This charm is so trippy. There's Kavera with the South Siege headgear. Obviously, I gotta rock that. Then you have her headgear, which everybody is, like, cooming over. <laughs> and we have the first animated weapon skin. Alright. Zafia's M7. Actually, speaking of this gun, I actually started to get better with it. Started con controlling the recoil a little better, so this could actually be good for me. <laughs> that actually really does look nice. I like the animated parts. It, it kind of reminds me of Dark Matter from Black Ops 3, like in that 
in between that. And then the occasional alpha pack. So, not a bad battle pass. It's actually pretty good. I gotta say, I say it's worth it. Alrighty, redeeming the first of my $20. So now we have $40 left in these cards. Credits, I believe so. Oh, I guess they're not open yet. Oh, attachment skins. Oh, okay. Alright. So they're basically just like the regular, you know, universal skins, but in attachment skin form. Okay. The one, I probably buy this one, Haze. I really like that skin, honestly. Possibly, possibly the red one too. Yeah. Red and Haze. They look pretty nice too. So let's buy the battle pass. There we go, there's Thorn. There she is. And it unlocks it up until 13, okay. Okay, oh, we get that Ash skin too. Okay, sick. And we get the Operator card and a few Alpha Packs. Oh yeah, actually, wait, I wanna look at those Alpha Packs because they changed them from what I saw. Yeah, they changed the menu and they changed like the animation, I think, when you get for them. Here we go. Yeah, there it is, health hazard. You see how cool that is? That's so cool, actually. That's so cool how it, like, <laughs> the animation is. It's not, like, disappointing. Tar brush. Oh, and I believe this one's a legendary, so let's see if we get any new stuff. Oh, we got the Rooney Runner suit. Okay, I'm not sure. I don't think that's new, but I'm happy to have it. <laughs> I, I love a Rooney. So good, very good. All right, so I'll buy more of those tiers because, well, I have I have enough stuff to buy it with. But I want to look at the uh, elite customization and also like these new shaders on the ops. So, oh my fucking god! Oh, I thought I reset my shit. But as you can see, they updated the graphics for them. They look much more beautiful. The, oh, oh, I love how Ash looks. She's mine. I love her. <laughs> I love how they look. It's so much more, like, so much more cleaner and, like, so much more brighter. Oh, yeah, if you couldn't see already, um, you could customize your shits <laughs> now. You, well, obviously, you could put the headgear. You could put the victory celebration and stuff. So we could put, like, the Sidewinder on the Tomb Raider <laughs> Elite, <laughs> as you can see. <laughs> Even when she's a Tomb Raider, she, she can't take your call. Legendary, blue, fucking gray, red, okay. Probably keep it at legendary for most of them, because I like that. And the portrait, put it as, obviously we gotta have it as that. Can you stop directing me to there? My god. Actually, put it as blue, because it matches, it matches that. Yeah, there you go, good. <laughs> it matches that. But I really like how these operators look now with the, uh, with these like new shaders that Ubisoft introduced. It looks so much better. They don't look like potatoes anymore, thankfully. Okay, I forgot we're getting way ahead of ourselves here. So let's go on to Thorn. So there's Thorn playing with her gadget. <laughs> so bio, she was born June the 18th. She's from Ireland. So she has the, U the Uzi, even though it's called something else, the M870. Maverick's Pistol, 1911 Tac Ops, and the C75 Shield and Barbed Wire. Let me take a look at this Uzi for a second. Can you equip anything on it? Oh, well, you can't equip other skins on it just yet. Oh yeah, the seasonal skin. I gotta get that too. I was so late on last season skin, I almost missed out on it, but I got it, thankfully. <laughs> but that's yeah, nice. Okay, actually looking forward to using this gun, because it actually does look pretty nice. When, when I saw others using it, so... Yeah. <laughs> There's Thorn for you. So she's, uh, 2 speed, 2 health. Okay, good to know. Alright, so I just realized, too, that we have, uh, another alpha pack. It's probably an epic, if I can say so. Bruh. A fucking bat. Alright, so that's gonna end it off there for now. Um, I apologize if it was, like, a short video, but this is... If you've been subscribed to me since, like, Crimson Heist, you would've known that I've done this stuff, like, since then. So I do like the first impressions first, and then and then the gameplay like a day or day two later and stuff. And actually later on, I will do an updated video of the Elite customizations because now that the full Elite customization stuff has been released, I can make some f probably cursed and 
amazing combos and maybe worse combos but without further ado i hope you guys are liking this new season so far um i'm i think i'm gonna enjoy this a lot so but anyways if you want to see more uh, high caliber content throughout the week please make sure to subscribe and if you did enjoy this video please make sure to drop a like as well it helps the channel a lot and without further ado i will see you guys in the next video take care and bye